This is a good angle because you can see the whole batter and you can see all your movements other than the fact that my hand's going up and down the whole time. No, did he? Did Wellesley see it? Did you see it? I was walking, walking in. Oh, you didn't. You didn't. I heard him. Come on, Matt. That's what I said. This is, this is sacrificing for the GVA. <laughs> so, Bruce calls me and says he, Iran was doing the bases because Phil, Phil uh, was doing the plate for that JV game. So he pulled Iran to do the varsity. Oh, that's good. There he goes. He ain't ready! Oh my god! <laughs> I don't think he's gonna be watching Mike Boss's game today, right? Now batting the short stop, number two, Josh Henderson. I go, did it have an impact? He goes, oh, no. <laughs> I'll tell you the time. It's good for them. Take that time. You can email for Tom. Rainy Tom, I knew that was fun. Rainy Tom, I knew that was fun. Rainy Tom, I knew so I go out <laughs> and I make the call. <laughs> <laughs> That's not your call. <laughs> You're in the eighth. What's right field? That's not your call. I said, I think it's your call. I'll pay you off. Now batting the catcher, number 26, Morgan Brown. Now you work on Duco. He'll tell you I'm wrong. Yeah, he's wrong. Else I called your stepfather on fish, fish fry night. Oh, yeah, that's what I told you. Well, they were going to the Village Inn because it's the re-grand opening with a party of 12. Where's the Village Inn? Here? No, in, uh, in Honeywood. Why, is there a Village Inn in every town? Was oh, that the one that closed for a while? Yeah. Yeah, we went through there and the was closed. Why make one? Huh? Why make one?
Now batting the left fielder number eight, Maddox Minton. Corey could be the next GM for the White Sox. We'll hire a few more people. You had either of these guys this year? Yeah, Laconia crushed. 